Gregorio Ugly Pie, the Revolutionaries, and the birth of Philippine Independent Church. He was born in Batac, Ilocos Norte on May 5, 1860. His mother died when he was barely a year and seven months old. He spent his childhood as a laborer at a tobacco plantation where he was arrested for not meeting the required quota. The incident left a deep impression on him, eventually leading to his resentment of Spanish authorities, his advocacy against abuses of the agricultural system and his pursuit of radical ecclesiastical reforms. In 1876, he transferred to Manila and entered the private school of Julian Carpio, a lawyer. After two years and with financial help from his granduncle, Francisco del Amor, he was able to enroll at the Colegio de San Juan de Letran where he managed to work his way as a copista or a bright but poor student who does not pay for tuition or lodging, but serves the priests during mass and in the refectory. He earned his Bachelor of Arts degree, then went on to study law at the University of Stau, Tomas but decided to study for priesthood and entered the Vigan Seminary in 1883. In 1898 he was ordained priest of the Roman Catholic Church. His revolutionary activities were condemned by the friars. Despite the bitter war against Spain, Ugly Pie was an upright man who even interceded for the lives of Jesuit priests Antino Rosal and Felix Mir who were held prisoners by the revolutionaries. Forced labor, repressive policies, cruelties of the Spanish friars and Philippines struggle for independence were main causes of their revolts. KKK movement sought independence from Spain through armed revolt. The revolution in 1896 broke out while Ugly Pie was serving as coadjutor in San Pablo, Laguna. The patriot and nationalist that he is, Ugly Pie sympathized with the cause of the revolution. As the revolution heated up the following year, the Spanish priest he worked for ordered the arrest and execution of many Filipino men accused of being involved with the revolution. Intervention who vouched for the innocence of the accused, the latter's lives were spared. His appointment made him the religious leader of the revolutionary movement. He represented Alocos Nort at the Malolos Congress, convened in Malolos, Bulacan in 1898, and he was one of those people who affixed their signatures to the Constitution, which was adopted by the Congress before the United States bought the country from Spain and sent forces to reoccupy and colonize the islands. Ugly Pie desire for independence did not lose its fervor even after war against the Spaniards has ended. When the Philippine-American War began he became deeply involved in the campaign for independence against the American regime. The independence of the Philippines was a consuming passion for Ugly Pie. He was an energetic soldier and an effective guerrilla leader against the American forces. With his military strategy and tactics his guerrilla unit courageously engaged the Americans in several ambush and encounters, 